Hi and welcome to this video tutorial with me Wayne from drclean.co.uk. In this tutorial we're going to iron a lady's skirt. It's a cotton fabric um, that is quite creased and it has pockets at the side and side pockets at the top. Uh, now with everything there's an order that we do things and we want to go with this from top to bottom. Now we do have to be slightly careful in this case because we do have just pocket linings that we have to be careful of. If you go over a pocket lining on anything, if it's inside um, and you go over the outside, you could potentially put a shine on the fabric on the outside, which is something you don't want to do. Plus, you do want these pocket linings to be flat for the wearer, either it's you or someone else, flat for the wearer when they put on the garment. Otherwise, the pockets are all weird and they make the actual garment bag out and look horrible. So the first thing we do is just go over these pocket linings to make sure that they are actually flat and they're going to be good when the person wears it. The next thing we're going to do is come up on the board to do the waistband. Now the waistband we will do piece by piece going round. Notice I'm not trying to do too much, just trying to put a little bit of tension on, get the waistband done. Rule of thumb for ironing is do as little as you need to to do a good job. Don't try to overstretch yourself and do too much. So I've literally just done that waistband and we're now going to start going around the top of the skirt. We'll first take the flap of the zipper and now what we're going to do is we're going to move that lining the pocket line that we did earlier, just away from the top so we don't go over it. Okay, we're now going to move it back again by taking the skirt off the board and back on the board so we can go over the pocket itself. Notice I stretched that pocket and I'm going to have to go both ways, up and down. Just take it off the board so we can go into that pocket area there. Do the top. Notice I'm lifting and stretching all the time, making sure things are flat. Again, the top area, just lifting and stretching. And notice I'm pulling this towards me. As I say, it's, it's easier to pull something towards you than push something away. over the seam and the pocket area. Now remember the flap, the pocket itself, the pocket lining should be in the right position there. Just check, stretch and do the pocket itself and then stretch backwards and do that side. Take the lining away. Remember to stretch all the time. Now you've got to be very careful when you go over metal. Again, you could shine the fabric which you don't want to do. So I was very careful to miss that zipper when I did that area. Now I said these, this skirt has pockets. And I'm going to do these pockets two different ways. I'm going to do the top of the pockets at the top of the skirt. And then I'm going to do the bottom of the pockets turning the skirt around. And hopefully you'll see why. I can get to this area when it's on the end of the board because I can stretch it out. Yeah? Just move it along, stretch it out again. And I've got that pocket top done. And you can see it's quite creased there. But if I stretch and iron, I actually remove all those creases. Just move it along a touch. So I'm only doing the second section. Test it with your hands like I just did if you need to. And again, I've just done it. So that's the top of the pocket. We'll now go on to reverse the skirt and do the bottom. So the skirt comes off the board in one swoop. 
and back on the board. And we, because we want to start and finish at the same place, we're actually going to work to the vent in this case. Now, vents are a curious thing. They're actually made to go one above the other. So you really do have to iron them one above the other, as I've just done there. I've just put them in place. Yep, so they're actually sitting in the right place for when I iron and for when it's warm. If you do it, if you split it and do it, you can see you're going to just warp that area and they may never come together again. So you really want to make sure you've got them in the right place before you begin to iron. So stretch and lift. Once you've got your iron on, you can stretch as much as you like because the iron holds the garment in place. You can see we're getting a really nice finish, just going straight up and down. We're now coming to that underside of that pocket that we've done the top of. Stretch. Now we're just going to go in from the edge, and then we're going to move the skirt on a bit. And go over the center, and then in from the edge again on the other side. Now you notice, whilst I've been doing that, the bottom has been done at the same time. Just stretch that seam and stretch the center seam. You can see that comes away nicely. See all the creases in this garment are coming away. It's a nice soft cotton. Soft cotton does tend to be easy to do. Now, you didn't see me do this particular flap, but I did it whilst you weren't. It's like smoke and mirrors there. All right, we're going there. We're going to go over the center and then we're going to come back across the other side. Just tighten that up. And exactly the same with the bottom. Just undo the poppers for a second. Stretch it. Do up the popper. Undo the popper. Stretch it. Stretch it. Stretch it. Notice I'm going in from the edge to the center so that I don't put a crease in the edge. Now we've got the easy bit left. We don't have to put that on because I'm not going to go over that again. And we've finished the whole skirt, top to bottom. Done well. Now the best way to hang a skirt is either with a skirt hanger, or if you haven't got those, you can get hey-ho clips from our site. And all you do is you put a normal wire hanger down, hey-ho clip, goes one side, hey-ho clip, goes the other, and it holds the skirt exactly like it would on a normal skirt hanger. And so it's held in a nice position until you want to wear it. There you go. A skirt completely ironed with pockets. Hopefully that's been helpful to you. Thanks very much for watching.